Happy Monday, everybody. This is Mara tuning in for the Monday Magical Messages. And um, so we're gonna start off with our oil of the week, which is Blue Tansy. This is a really fun oil because you can freak people out because it's blue. And so you can put it on your face. It will go away, but like it's seriously blue. Ah, uh, see, it's blue and it stays there for a couple of minutes. So you look like a Smurf. Anyway, Blue Tansy, such an awesome oil for inspired action. So we have our beautiful inspired painting by Jen Rippa, gorgeous picture um, channeled from Blue Tansy. And it really supports the releasing of procrastination and resistance to action and change. So I love this oil. Um, it helps to get rid of stagnation and it prompts us to make in alignment soul changes. So it's not just about like putting a fire under your bum. It's really about inspired action that is in alignment with your soul. So a great place to put it so number one, it's really fabulous for your skin. So, but you might want to do that at nighttime because your face will be blue. Um, it's a great one to smell, right? Because then that goes right up into your brain and it affects immediately and gets you moving. Um, I love to diffuse it also for that reason when I'm working. And it also is great to put on your big toe, which there is a meridian point for your brain on the inside part of your big toe, like um, going towards your second toe, right in that corner area. Um, uh, it's like an acupuncture point and it helps to stimulate the brain. So it's a great brain point to put your blue tansy on. So fabulous, so delicious, this oil, but you, you only need a teeny tiny bit and it, um, smells really really good it's like a type of chamomile it is fabulous okay so that's blue tansy that's our oil of the week inspired action help us to get moving um our gemstone of the week is not really a gemstone it is amber which is a fossilized resin um it's like sunlight solidified um you kind of if you put it in front of the sun you know it's um, translucent you can see through it um, it's very 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 old energy is held in um, amber it's really the accumulated wealth and wisdom of planet earth and beyond um, it's a it helps us to um, or it it supports us in terms of courage and protection it balances emotions um, it attracts good luck and it eliminates fears. It clears the mind um, and dissolves negative energy. It draws pain and disease out of the physical system um, and the physical body. So for example, when my boys were little, they each had, um, and my niece and nephew actually, one year for Hanukkah, everyone got amber necklaces and everyone wore their amber necklaces. Um, and it really, it helps to actually um, um, like get rid of teething pain. Um, so it's very effective. Um, it really promotes health. So it's a great thing. People wear it. Um, it increases vitality and tissue. Um, oh my God, that's hilarious, Jessica, <laughs> that you just got one. Yes. Yeah. It really helps to keep our systems to like, it helps to in tissue regeneration, um, and like I said, it draws pain and disease out of the body, dis-ease out of the body. So, um, yeah, so it's a great, great um, piece of resin, and it is warming. It warms our body. If you're in a colder place, hello, it helps you to um, stay warm. So sometimes I just will put it in my pocket for that. So that's amber. Um Next card is from this card deck called Practice You. 
um, from Elena Brower, who is a yogi, has written a couple of books. She's a big New York yogi and also uses um, doTERRA's oils. And um, this is a wonderful reminder. Uh, these are the blessings that are touching me today. So it's a great moment to, for all of us to be reminded to count our blessings, to write down maybe, you know, start a gratitude journal. This is the month of gratitude, right? With Thanksgiving coming and um, giving thanks for everything. Um, so, you know, sometimes if we're having a tough day, it feels like, oh, I have nothing to be grateful for. But, you know, you woke up this morning, you probably were sleeping in a bed, in a home, in a house um, with heat. Uh, you know, gratitude for nature of what, what what's outside your door, family, friends, um, your animals, right? Um, pets, food, sleep. So the basics, I think, sometimes are, are even more important to focus on because it's so easy to, you know, it's just so easy to be thankful for big, huge things. Sometimes we forget these simple little things of, um, but that are really a part of our every moment of every day. You know, thank you for having the awareness to breathe slowly through my day or, um, you know, for the smile from, from strangers on the street. So lovely card. These are the blessings that are touching me today. Next card is love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. So this card is all about self-love first. So, you know, reminder to heal from the past. This is, again, a month of a couple of months of getting together with family and being reminded maybe or triggered of things. Hey, Walter, so good to see you here. Um, so self-love first, you know, how can you love yourself first? When you love yourself, then you can move out beyond that to others. Um, so, you know, lean into your own heart first um, and see what that means for you. You know, in terms of boundaries, in terms of um, just the little things, right? Like we were just being grateful for the little things. Can we also love ourself or ourselves in, in small ways that really make our day? Um, because then you will have so much more to give to everyone around you. Um, and, and you'll feel really good about yourself and better about yourself. So start, start with yourself. That's the reminder there. Okay, Osho card, moment to moment. Look at this cool guy, kind of trippy on a rainbow, uh, with a rainbow background and buildings in the way background and stepping on steps and stones. So this card challenges us to move away from our worries of the past and the future and stay alert to the now. Live in the now, wherever you are, be there or be here in your whole being and consciousness. Life is a great playground when we drop our judgments and attachments to the long term, be present and available to what comes your way. So, yeah, you know, we've all heard this before, right? So I loved the, the way that Osho said, stay alert to the now. That's different to me than just like, stay present, be present. It's like stay alert to the now means really, um, be on purpose, be like awake to what is happening around us and what's happening around you. So great card. <coughs> okay, newest card deck that I literally just got is by Sahara Rose, who does, I guess, some different um, blogs and stuff. It's called A Yogic Path. It is gorgeous, has this gorgeous book guidebook that goes with it. Anyway, my wonderful Kundalini teacher here in Summit County, Colorado, Melinda, um, who possibly will be watching this later, um, she turned me on to these cards and they're gorgeous and, and inspiring and totally intuitive. 
So our first card ever is um, called Saraswati, who is a goddess. This card deck has goddesses in it. Let me, let me tell you. We've got spirituality, um, Ayurveda concepts, chakras, yoga concepts, deities. So this is one of the deities, I believe. And uh, anyway, so super cool. I can't wait to play with it. So Saraswati, this beautiful goddess, is the goddess of creativity, um, intuition, and insight. Um, she is the sacred river flowing with divine wisdom, and she supports us when we have new ideas and are channeling universal wisdom. So she's the reminder to pursue our creative ideas with full force because we are being supported. So that is like such great inspiration, you know, and, we're, and a reminder to really um, be awake to the moment and then take inspired action, use your blue tansy, and then really move forward powerfully into your dreams and your desires and your creativity, your creations. Um, that's what makes a life super whole. Um, Whew, I just got the chills. Okay, so that that's about it, kiddos. Um, so wonderful to see all of you here. Thanks, Tracy. I know the new cards are super cool. So yeah, I just ordered them off of Amazon. Like, not difficult. So anyway, highly recommend those. Have a beautiful and awesome week. And I can't wait to see all of you here next week. Okay, love you guys. Namaste.